In this video, I want to review a plugin that I think is pretty neat. Uh, this will be my first video to review plugins and themes, and uh, I'll be creating several of these in the future. But for this video, I want to re review the Admin Dropdown Menu plugin. Uh, since 2.7, as many of you know who have installed it, in the admin section of 2.7, it's been completely redesigned. And if you read the forums, um, the discussion threads on WordPress.org, you'll see that some people really like it and some don't. It seems that people either love it or they hate it. Uh, quite frankly, I liked the admin menus that were on the that are on the side by default over here in WordPress. But a couple of weeks ago, I ran across a plugin that uh, takes those menus and puts them back up to the top, similar to the way they were in previous versions of WordPress, uh, but makes them a lot nicer as well in their drop-down uh, menus, as you can see here. Uh, so I've been using this for a couple of weeks just to see how I like it, and uh, I've decided that I, I like it really well, so I think I'm going to keep it and use it. Uh, so what I want to do here is show you how to uh, find this plugin uh, and install it and test it out and see if you like it. If you liked the old style of menus across the top in WordPress, then you might like this. Uh, first off, let's look at the plugin. If I go to my plugins menu, this plugin is the admin drop down menu, and I'm not certain how to pronounce the name, so I'm just going to call it Zaz as we go through here. If I mispronounce the name, I apologize. Uh, but the Zaz admin drop down menu, uh, if we if I click on this link, it will tell you essentially or take you to the website of the uh, person who developed this. Uh, and when I came here and looked at this site, I see that uh, uh, he's obviously developed a lot of really cool stuff, and I haven't ran across the site before, so I'm glad that I did. Uh, but under the projects tab here on uh, his blog, if you scroll down, if you've clicked on that link, you'll see this one. Uh, and you can download it here, read all about it and download it. Or you can install it straight through the 2.7 interface, which I'll show you in a minute. But however you do it, if you install it and you really like it, then come back here at least and click on the link to download it. And uh, this is where the only place I can find his PayPal button to donate. Uh, and I came here and donated a few bucks for it because uh, I like to donate a few dollars to uh, anyone who I use their stuff and uh, I really like them. so. Uh, I like this. I'd recommend if you use it, uh, if you can, come here and, and uh, send a few bucks this way to, to show your appreciation. Uh, anyway, the admin menu, once you install it, let me show you how to find it here first. Uh, if you go to, if you have 2.7 and you go to the plugin browser and just type in admin drop down menu, click search, then you'll find it in the list here. This is it. So you can come here, install it straight through the page if you have 2.7. Uh, if you have an earlier version, he does have this for earlier versions. Go to the website uh, that I showed you here. Let me just click on it again. Click on Projects and scroll down and you'll find earlier versions for earlier versions of WordPress. Uh, the actual web address, if I just go to the blog here, is this. And so you can see that. Go there, click on Projects link and you'll find it. Okay, so to install this, uh, just install it through your admin or install it the traditional way if you have earlier version of WordPress. Uh, and then activate it and it'll put your all your links here horizontally. Now a few things I like about this, if I go to post, when you click a drop down, one of the neat things, that's a small detail but it really helps, is that if I click on post or edit, they both take me to the edit page. On some of these type menus, when you hover over a drop down, uh, the main thing that's on the drop-down doesn't show as the first item in the list. Uh, and sometimes when people hover over drop-down menus, uh, they don't think to actually click on the top-level item because they see the things under it, so it causes problems. So on post, for example, if I click on post, it actually takes me to my uh, post screen, manage post screen, and if I click edit post, then that takes me to the same place where I can edit or manage my post. And then the next one is add new post and so forth. So it's a small detail, but I think it's really nice that the click on the link or the first item in the link takes you to that edit post and all the rest of them work the same. Now as you can see here, if you do like to have the full screen for editing, now you still have it like you had in all your previous versions. Plus you have the added benefit in 2.7 of still being able to drag your menus around and reorganize them 
however you want to reorganize them. Uh, so I think it's pretty neat, uh, the layout and so forth. Uh, once you install it and you can go through, your menus are going to drop down, work the same. Uh, under the settings, there's an actual uh, link to set up some, do some configuration. It's called Admin Menu. You can click on that to get to the configuration. Uh, you get to the same place if you were to go to Plugins and see your installed plugins. Once you install the plugin to the right, there's a Settings link. You click on Settings and it takes you to the same place. And then there are a few neat details here as well. Uh, the top level icons you can uh, check to display or not display the top level icons. Uh, you can go shrink mode to compact the icons down just like you can over here to where you don't have the writing but you just have the visual icons. It's pretty neat. Safe space if you want to do that. Uh, so you can come in here and look at some things. Uh, I don't need to show you all this. Some really neat ways to change your colors up here. One of the things also I like about this, if you notice I have several items, I also have a sub menu. So if your screen gets smaller or if you're on a smaller screen, the sub-menus just continue to come down on a second row and line up really nice and easy to get to. Uh, so it's uh, there's some basic configuration here on hide header. It's neat. I can hide the traditional header because it's really just some wasted space here. So you can click that to hide the header and then still have the link back to your blog here. Uh, and then there's a log out uh, here under users if you uh, uh, want that as well. So just lots of neat little ways to configure this. Uh, I've been using it again. I didn't know if I would uh, like it any better than the left side menus because I uh, I got used to the left side menus and liked them pretty well. Uh, but this does uh, actually give me a little more, I think, real estate area on my screen without the menus on the left. So I prefer this. It works really well. Uh, so check it out if you haven't already and uh, you might like it as well. And if you don't have 2.7 but you still want to download this or if uh, you have 2.7 but you have problems uh, going to the plugins and actually installing your plugins here through the uh, the browser installer, you can still go to the website that I showed you, download it and install manually. Uh, and if you're not sure how to install a plugin manually, just come back to uh, my site here and I have a video tutorial how to install a WordPress theme or a plugin using FTP. And the second one here is how to install the plugin. Watch it and it'll show you exactly how to install these manually.